peristalsis is the peristaltic reflex arc. This is a segment of the intestine. It could be a segment of the small intestine or the large intestine. Segment of the intestine. Small intestine or large intestine. Inside the segment, this yellow colored is a bolus of food which stretches the intestine. Close to the intestine is the enteric nervous system, which is a division of the autonomic nervous system. Enteric nervous system. It is also known as the miniature brain in the gut. Stretch impulses from the bolus of food to the enteric nervous system are carried by the neurotransmitter serotonin. From the enteric nervous system, efferent impulses arise behind the bolus, acetylcholine, and substance P are released. They cause constriction behind the bolus. Ahead of the bolus, nitric oxide, you know, and VIP or vasoactive intestinal polypeptide are released. They cause relaxation ahead of the bolus. So constriction behind the bolus, relaxation ahead of the bolus. As a result, as a result, the bolus moves forward. This is peristalsis. And the entire reflex arc is the peristaltic reflex arc. This brings us to the law of the gut. Proposed by Starling in the beginning of the 20th century, according to him, peristalsis always occurs from an oral direction to up oral direction. Oral direction to up oral direction. Thank you. I am Dr. Swapnil.